Howdy there, I'm Undead, and today we're on Bad Business. Welcome to episode 2 of Zero Two Hero. I could have went further and beyond with the whole leveling of this account. However, I have been a little bit busy, so I was not able to get too much progress or get too far. However, I did do some crazy things such as hit clips and a whole bunch of other things like gaining some levels, setting up the XK416 a little bit better, and uh, doing one set of daily challenges. So what you're looking at in the background, that is my gameplay that I hit earlier today because like I told you guys I would be recording all of my gameplay for bad business on this account so I did that and I managed to hit these clips that you guys are looking at I also ended up taking a screenshot of all of my match end statistics which will show up in like a slideshow after all of the clips have been played so I might be silent until you guys see all of those and then the music's just gonna go crazy and then the actual part of the video will start however I did go from like I don't remember what my level was but I went from where I left off last episode all the way up to level 14 and in this video we're gonna get to level 15 and that was the entire progress that I wanted to do I wanted to go from wherever I was to level 15 hopefully I can do more in the future like I said I've just been a little bit busy so I was unfortunately not able to get to a higher level like level 20 or something like that so hopefully level 15 is enough Now that we're in game, I can go ahead and show you guys everything that I've basically done. I obviously use my own code, which is Unico, which gives you my charm. I'm not going to equip it on anything because I don't want people to find out my account, but I use that. Then I use Kaching because I realized I didn't use that yet. Make sure that you guys redeem this. And right now, what you can use is you can use the 2022 code as well, and you can redeem that for two charms and 2,000 credits. So that is why I am now almost at 6,000 credits. I also said in the last episode that I was aiming for the STG44, which is true. I do want to unlock the STG44. 
However, I want to unlock the insta heal more. The insta heal is literally just, it's just a pocket HP bar. And that's why I like it so much and why a lot of players love this so much. So a couple more credits from now and a couple more levels to shrink down that credit cost. We're going to finally be able to get the insta heal. I somehow managed to get 36 kills on the grenade now. It's almost Damascus silver too. Speaking of Damascus silver by accident, I got the Damascus silver on the XK. Currently, I got my setup all the way to this muzzle break, 0.300 vertical grip, minimal stock and XP boost. I'm probably going to be using XP boost up until I get rubberized tape then I'll go ahead and take XP boost off and then the only thing else that will change on this setup is I'm going to take the muzzle break off for the compensator that's actually the setup that I use after I get insta heal though you already know that we're gonna be going straight for the STG 44 and hopefully I can get that sometime soon because that'll be pretty nice after I get my full setup on the XK416 I'm probably gonna swap over to the AK47 and get my setup on that as well because the AK47 can be an absolute monster also we got up to 347 kills now on the XK I also leveled up my M1911 a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and equip some attachments on that because i kind of forgot about it and the only thing i really added to it was a coyote site but it is level 5 now i also have 43 kills on it and i also forgot to mention that the xk is now level 30 for me i'm almost done with all the statistics so don't you guys worry here's all my stats currently right now on this account with 451 kills 132 deaths and a 3.42 kdr with 12 wins 4 losses in 16 matches for my daily challenges i had two king of the hill matches to win get 15 kills with m1911 and win two matches and i got them all done and that's honestly about it other than the fact that i also I'm at level 14 right now and I got to grind up to level 15. Finally, let's go ahead and just start playing the game. I don't want to end up using only the XK416 the entire time and the reason being is because I don't want to be just stuck using the XK this entire time as well as literally just using the one gun that everyone is annoyed with at the moment. I also hope that you guys enjoyed that little display I had of all my clips and all my screenshots of all those MVP stuff and all that. I feel like the XK, though, is not as good until you get the .300. I just don't really enjoy the default ammo on the XK, even though it's really good in terms of recoil. I'm also not going to be going for anything crazy like the blue diamonds or the Damascus golds on this account. If I get them by accident, then so be it. I'm also debating on whether or not I want to end up using the UMP45 because the UMP45 is also an insane weapon. I don't really know what I want to do in terms of weapons. I know that I want to use a good variety and I'm probably going to switch it up each episode, but it also comes down to if I get a full setup on it or not. Because if I use a different weapon each episode, then it's like I'm basically progressing weapons for no reason. It's like why even get the XK to this point where I got it now? just to never use it ever again. I'm starting to think that maybe I should just do something where I swap it up each prestige, but even then, if I end up doing that, I feel like that might take too long, because I don't want to be stuck using one weapon for too long, and I don't want to be using too many different weapons, so much so that it's going to be really difficult to have a complete setup and use that complete setup and enjoy it. Also, I looked at the news again for Roblox today. There was literally nothing other than the Ralph Lauren event finally came to a end, and it just completely closed. Also, Paris Hilton had her event or something in Roblox. I just never saw it in the events tab or something like that for roblox so i'm confused about it and i think that paris hilton tweeted at cardi b about when is she coming to roblox and then cardi b says that she's on her way i could get that wrong so take whatever i'm saying with a grain of salt but if that's the case that's gonna be pretty interesting i like to see celebrities and a bunch of different events come to roblox the only thing i'm confused about though is why paris hilton's event wasn't like under the events tab at least it wasn't for me so i i don't know it's either that or i'm just clueless most of the games i ended up playing as well were all king of the hill i always vote king of the hill because i just like to have it the opportunity to get more kills than what's allowed in TDM. I think he'll confirm as well, honestly. I can't wait to get insta heal though. I'm just tired of so many different players healing on me in the middle of a fight. I feel like that's the most annoying thing is when someone heals mid-fight because they were able to get into cover just slightly faster than you expected to, and they were in there at least long enough to get the heal in, and that's so annoying to me. I'm also pretty sure I ran into only one cheater today. I'm glad about that, honestly. I'm surprised that out of this entire journey, I've only ran into one cheater so far. Unfortunately, I'm not on my main account, so I can't just kick them either. And is there a burst back? Mac 10 or what, man? That's the second time I've seen somebody use a Mac 10 and it's like a burst, even though I don't think you can make the Mac 10 a burst. Also, all those clips that you guys have seen and all of those screenshots that you guys saw as well, those were all from today because I just tried to get it all done in one day because I didn't have time to grind and I didn't grind behind the scenes or anything like that. So yeah, I kind of... I kind of did it all in one day, but that's okay. Hopefully in the future, what I can do is I'll be able to get you guys more stuff and get more levels in the future. But then again, I'm pretty sure once you get to the higher levels, you can't level up per game anymore like I can right now. Either way, I'm really excited to go ahead and tackle this challenge of getting an alternate account all the way from level zero to max prestige and also sharing that entire journey with you guys. I don't really see it as a challenge as much as it is just a little thing to do for fun. Because I can't even deny that it's going to be good for content. And also gives me an excuse to go ahead and go out of my way to hit clips and stuff. 
what is going on, dude? There is absolutely no way that I just got bursted down like that. Fix your ping for the love of everything holy, please. You skyrocket over to a 200 and you drop back down to below 100. How does that even work? No wonder it looks like your back tent's bursting and you're able to just murder me like that. Literally, I walk over in that little area and I get insta-deleted. Like, it almost was a MAC-10 one-shot and that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I've also gotten pretty decent with grenades as a role of this challenge. And there we go, have it. We have a victory, and I somehow got the MVP, even though I barely did anything. And we also have the beautiful level 15. And we are definitely up to 6,000 credits now, and I gotta continue to make that progress towards getting that beautiful, juicy insta heal. I'll definitely get more levels in in the future. I might do another 15 levels, go all the way up to level 30 or something like that. I think that would be very beneficial. But uh, I think I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. How many levels do you guys want to see me do per episode? Because being at level 15 right now is a pretty good stopping point, and it doesn't take too much of an effort or too long of time even when i think about going from level 45 to level 60 i don't think that that would be too awful it would be very time consuming because that's the last 15 of a prestige but i don't think it'd be too awful